DNA has changed um, how we practice um, breast cancer, how we treat patients with breast cancer. However, there's still a lot that needs to be done. Um, CTDNA came about first in the metastatic setting, and we used that um, to change treatments based on some of the genomic data that we were getting from the CTDNA. However, with more sensitive assays, we have been able to use that in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant setting, and there are a lot of clinical trials looking specifically at the use of CTDNA in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant setting. CTDNA is very important because it helps with the diagnosis of certain cancers. A lot of studies are being done for that. It helps with uh, detecting minimal residual disease and identifying patients who are at increased risk of re recurrence. So trying to get treatment to them earlier or changing the treatment plan because of the minimal residual disease. And it also helps change the treatment plan in the metastatic setting, especially if patients are having rising CTDNA on their current treatment. It's a clear evidence that their current treatment is now working and their treatment needs to be changed to something that's more sensitive to their tumor. So for those reasons, CTDNA is very helpful and we have ongoing studies looking at how the CTDNA changes over the treatment of the patients. We currently have an ongoing study at the Rutgers Cancer Institute where um, patients with stage two and stage three breast cancers are being screened for CTDNA and if they have detectable CTDNA, they're being monitored during the neoadjuvant treatment and then post-surgery in the adjuvant uh, setting as well and then using that information to see if it helps the medical oncologist change some of their treatment decisions.